Hey guys, I'm Michael. I'm from TravelCoastVietnam.com. Now, before we get started, I don't want to hear shit about this shirt, okay? A friend of mine from Nicaragua gave this to me, and I said I would wear it proudly in a video. So I'm trying. Proudly. Okay? All right. Pura Vida. Pura Vida. Pure life. You know that word? If you've been to Costa Rica, you know that word. You've heard it a million times. That phrase is everywhere. It's on a million coffee cups and a million t-shirts. There's songs of Pura Vida. Some of the locals will get Pura Vida tattooed right there on their arm. I'm sure if the government could stamp Pura Vida on the side of their volcanoes, they probably would do it. Uh, now, for me, I love, love, love the phrase. I love it. It's, at its essence, it's freaking beautiful. But what's it mean? You know, I mean, obviously Spanish, literally, it does mean pure life, but it's way more than just pure life. It's, you know, it means simple life. It means tranquilo. It means everything will be all right. It means enjoy. It means chill. It means, oh, it means stop and smell the roses. It means love and light. It means be still and know that I am God. You know, it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful phrase. It's a total Bob Marley word, you know. It's just jam-packed with energy and vibes. It's like a state of being. Pura Vida is, def Pura Vida is definitely a way of life here, you know. Um, Pura Vida is Costa Rica, and Costa Rica is Pura Vida. Uh, it's totally, totally in their DNA, man. It's in their DNA. Now, which is probably why I don't use it. <laughs> Unfortunately... I have to work too hard. I don't know what happened with me on that word, but um, I don't, it doesn't come out right half the time. I actually literally have to think. I don't even know if I've said it right up until now. Well, of course, I'm sure somebody will tell me. Uh, I've had problems with it. It doesn't fit me. It, when I say it, it sounds like I'm trying too hard. It's like to fit in. You know, I don't know. It doesn't work for me. I don't say it. Now, when it's usually, when it's used right, or what I kind of consider right, I think, you know, for greetings, hey, Pura Vida, departures, Pura Vida, it's also used a lot for res a response of understanding. So when somebody tells you, hey, man, I visited my grandmother yesterday, she was ill, and blah, 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 you know, a lot of times the uh, listener is going to say Pura Vida. It's like, a, it's like a shared connection, kind of. You know, so it's, you know, it's like a, a, a meaningful, I totally get what you're saying, man, I totally understand you, you know, and even with the the highs and the buys, there's some sort of energy there. I don't know. It's just, I really like it, you know, when it's used like that. Oh, by the way, quick travel tip. So if you, if you don't know any Spanish and somebody's going blah, 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 to you in Spanish, you actually can say Pura Vida on everything and they'll probably think you either know Spanish or that you totally understood everything they said. <laughs> now, but they use it too much, man. They use it too much. It's like the duct tape of words here, man. They use it too much. It's like pass the rice, pura vida. Pass the beans, pura vida. Pass the plantains, pura vida. It's like turned into like a glorified okay. Come on, man. Not okay. You know, it's used so much. It's like, you know that guy, that dude, that kind of that dumbass that says fuck almost every other word? And you're like, oh my God. So when he finally does get mad, he goes, Michael, fuck you, man. You're like, whatever, dude, shut up. <laughs> he uses it too much. It doesn't mean anything. And that's kind of what's, that's kind of what's happening here. It's kind of turned into like a, a glorified okay. But what's worse, now, I don't mind that part. I get that. I kind of get that. You know, I heard you, Puerto Vida, okay, whatever. I kind of get it, don't like it, but I get it. But what also happens, it's been now, it, let's take it a step farther. And it's relegated almost to a subtle fuck you, or a whatever, or a so what. So when somebody's like late, an hour to the meeting, they walk in, hey man, you're like an hour late, Puerto Vida. That's supposed to stop it right there, Puerto Vida. It's like turns into an excuse. It's kind of like, whatever, I'm late, so what? Fuck you, I'm late, so I'm late. They don't say it like that, they say Puerto Vida. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, what do you say? You really can't get mad at them now because they said Puerto Vida. See what I'm saying? So I don't like when it's used like that. So you scratched my car, man. Hey, you scratched my car. Pura Vida. I heard you had sex with my girlfriend. Pura Vida. <laughs> okay, maybe not that one. Uh, so I just don't like how they've kind of taken it, you know, the essence of everything that's good and kind of changed change, change it into like a, 
too much stuff, like a fuck you in a way, you know, across the board. Okay, so what I'd like them for to do is reclaim the word, reclaim it. Um, try to remember that, you know, like less is more. Quit bastardizing it and please don't turn it into just another okay word. Get it? <laughs> okay word. So that's kind of my, pe it's not a pet peeve, I just don't really like it. I wish they, you know, definitely reclaim the, the essence of what it truly is, really the true meaning. Now, for all you Ticos or people that have like a, a problem with what I just said, Pura Vida. I <laughs> got you. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm Michael Allen, TravelCoastWeekendHow.com. Peace, guys. Hope it helps. Hey, now, they do all this, you know, when you, you know, if you uh, hit the notification bell, then you'll know when I put a video out. I would love if you subscribed. It would be great if you, you know, liked and gave comments and shared the videos, all the stuff you're supposed to be doing and everybody tells you to do at the end of their videos. I'm going to tell you, too. Pura Vida. <laughs>